Is it on? Yes, announced. Pradhe director also, Pradhe director, Satellite Pradhe director, Nasa, Nepal. She's coming. She's coming. She's coming. Aunt? Very good evening to all of you. I am extremely happy to announce that GSLV F-16 vehicle has successfully and precisely injected the NASA ISRO Synthetic Aperture Radar Satellite, NSR Satellite, <laughs> weighing 2,393 kg into its intended orbit. Let me congratulate all the teams from ISRO and NASA JPL on this outstanding success. This is our 102nd launch from Sri Kota and the 18 mission of GSLV. As all of you may recall, we had the previous GSLV F-15 mission on 29th January 2025, which was the 100th successful mission launched from Sri Harikota. And also the first launch after the new management, including me, took over as the chairman of ISRO. This is the first GSLV mission to the sun synchronous polar orbit. Till date, all the GSLV missions have been to GTO. Being the first SSPO mission, several analysis and studies were carried out to make this mission a grand successful mission, including the cryogenic upper stage corrections, a host of mission simulations were carried out very systematically and meticulously, and today's successful mission is accomplished. All the vehicle system performance were quite normal, as expected and as predicted. And today, we achieved the intended orbit. Actually, we have got the orbit with a dispersion of less than 3 kilometers against, as against the permissible level of 20 kilometers. Perige, the specification is 742, point, 742 kilometers, we have got 740 kilometers. Apogee, 745 kilometers is the specification we have got, 747 kilometers. And all the parameters are as expected and in the right line. 
And this accomplishment is a teamwork, culmination of the teamwork of both ISRO and JPL NASA. The NISR satellite is a significant milestone for both Department of Space and NASA JPL being the first joint development project undertaken by the two major spacefaring nations. NISR is an all-weather day-night imaging satellite that will scan the entire Earth at 12-day interval. The satellite integrates ISRO's S-band synthetic aperture error payload with NASA's L-band SAR payload and 12-meter unfurlable reflected antenna to become the first of its kind, a dual-frequency SAR satellite. NSR will enable the scientific community to detect the surface variations, sea ice detection, investigate natural hazards, monitor soil moisture, and many other applications. The potential applications from this satellite are huge, and the global scientific community is eagerly awaiting the satellite data for their respective research and usage. The implementation arrangement between ISRO and NASA for a joint Earth observation satellite mission was signed on 30th September 2014. Between then, it was signed by the then Chairman ISRO, Secretary of the Department of Space, Dr. K. Radhakrishnan, who is sitting in front of us, and with the NASA Administrator, Mr. Charles Bolden. In fact, we were so happy to participate in that function, which happened in Toronto. Since then, the realization of satellite in ISRO progressed steadily under the outstanding leadership of subsequent chairman, Sri Kiran Kumar sir, who is also present in the audience, Dr. K. Sivan, Dr. Somnath, and also under different project directors. On this occasion, let me congratulate all of them. Also salute each and every one of the team members who have contributed for this significant achievement. Let me also congratulate all the technical teams, administrative teams, both in NASA, JPL, and ISRO, who worked shoulder to shoulder to build the satellite at UR Rao Satellite Center over the past so many years. The NSR mission has brought the two space agencies much closer than ever before, and the continuous interactions at various levels during the course of project execution has enriched both sides. On behalf of Department of Space and ISRO, let me thank the NASA JPL team and all other stakeholders in the project for their excellent contribution to the joint mission.